Today in your 2015 Chevrolet Silverado 3500, we're going to be installing Timbrin's Rear Suspension Enhancement System. And this is what our Timbrin's look like when they're installed. They just replace our factory jounce bumper, but they're much more robust looking. You can see that they don't contact when the vehicle is unloaded, but it will contact right away once you put a little bit of load on it. The spring itself is designed to compress and the more it compresses, the stronger it gets, providing more and more support. If you have a small load in the back to where it just barely touches, you're going to get some minimal support. It's just going to help smooth out your ride, reduce some sway, and just be an overall more enjoyable experience. When you put down a large load, the spring's going to really compress and start to swell. This is going to provide a lot of support. It's going to make them a lot stiffer but you're still gonna receive a lot of the same benefits that you would if you had a light load. It's gonna still smooth out your ride and help reduce that amount of sway, as well as keep your vehicle a little bit more level by providing some support here in the back. As you can see here, there's a big difference between our factory Johns bumper and our Timbrin. Our Timbrin's much larger, so it's going to have contact much sooner than what our Johns bumper has. If you're thinking about getting a suspension upgrade, there's really two big options. You've got your Timbrins and you've got your airbags. They both do a lot of the same things as far as helping to level the vehicle out and improve the ride quality. The differences are that the Timbrins here are maintenance free. You don't have to do anything to them. You'll never have to adjust air pressure. You're going to receive their benefits all the time. The drawback to having the Timbrins over the airbags is that the airbags are adjustable. So you can lower or raise the pressure as needed to match the load that you're hauling. And you can also change them side to side. So if you have an uneven load in the back, you can compensate for that. These ones have no adjustment, so you won't be able to compensate for those uneven loads. You'll receive the benefits of these when you've got a heavy load in your truck, when you're hauling a trailer with a gooseneck or fifth wheel, if you're hauling a camper behind you, or if you have an in-bed camper. Now, before we install our suspension enhancement on our 3500 here, we're going to take some measurements at both the back and the front. We're at about just under 42 inches at the back. We've now put about a thousand pounds of water in the back of our truck. We'll recheck our measurements and we've dropped down about an inch and a half. All that weight placed in the back changed our ride height, which is going to have a lot of negative effects on our vehicle. Dropping down the back changes the geometry of our suspension, which is going to wear our tires greater. It's going to lower our handling performance and it's also going to lower our braking performance because the weight's not going to be transferred properly from the rear to the front so your front brakes aren't going to be stopping as good as they used to additionally your headlights are going to be aimed towards the sky because the back of the vehicle is down causing it to pivot pointing your headlights up making it difficult to see at night once we get our timbrins installed we'll recheck our measurements and we'll see that the ride height isn't affected nearly as much by the weight restoring those lost handling, braking, and headlight performance. We'll begin our installation underneath the vehicle by removing our old jounce bumper. Our jounce bumper are just pressed in, so you can use a pry bar, or you can just do it by hand, and you just wanna get behind it and pry it out. Sometimes it can work better if you use two screwdrivers or prying tools, so you can get, get it a little started. And while it's out some, you can Try a little more with the other tool, kind of work it back and forth. We'll do the same thing on the other side. You can see here that our timberin is too large to just slide back into where our factory jounce bumper used to be. So we'll use a jack. You can put it behind your hitch, underneath your hitch, to lift up the body of the vehicle to give you some more space in between to get the timberin installed. You can see here we're using a pole jack since we're on our lift. Since you're going to be on the ground, a floor jack will work just fine. We'll now take our jounce bumper, we're going to put some silicone on it. That'll help it slide in easier. I'm going to use a couple pieces of wood just as a spacer. We're going to set our timbrin in place on top of the wood. Kind of line it up. And then we're just going to lower down slowly. Keeping it all lined up. And the weight of the vehicle should push the timbrin up into the factory jump bumper socket. Now once you've got it in the socket, you can 
lift it back up again and remove your wood. We'll then just repeat that same process on the other side. Now we've got our load back in our truck with our timbrins installed. We'll recheck our measurement. And now we've only dropped down about a half an inch from our factory ride height. And that completes our installation of Timbrin's rear suspension enhancement system on your 2015 Chevrolet Silverado 3500.